My Wonder Horse by Sabine R. Ulibari. He was white, white as memories lost. He was free, free as happiness is. He was fantasy, liberty, and excitement. He filled and dominated the mountain valley and surrounding plains. He was a white horse that flooded my youth with dreams and poetry. Around the campfires of the country and in the sunny patios of the town, the ranch hands talked about him with enthusiasm and admiration. But gradually, their eyes would become hazy and blurred with dreaming. The lively talk would die down. All thoughts fixed on the vision evoked by the horse. Myth of the animal kingdom poem of the world of men. White and mysterious, he paraded his harem through the summer forest with lordy rejoicing. Winter sent him to the plains and sheltered hillsides for the protection of his females. He spent summer like an oriental pump to take in the, his woods in his woodland gardens. The winter he passed like an illustri illustrious warrior celebrating a world well earned victory. He was a legend. The stories told of the Wonder Horse were endless. Some true, some others fabricated. So many traps, so many snares, so many searching parties, and all in vain. The horse always ex escaped, always mocked his pursuers, always rose above the control of man. Many a valiant cowboy swore to put his halter and his brand on the animal, but always he had to confess later that the mystic horse was more of a man than he. I was 15 years old. Although I had never seen the Wonder Horse, he filled my imagination and fired my ambition. I used to listen open-mouthed as my father and the ranch hands talked about the phantom horse who turned into mist and air, nothingness, when he was trapped. I joined in the universal obsession like the hope of winning the lottery, of putting my lasso on him someday, of capturing him and showing him off on the Sunday afternoons when the girls of the town strolled through the streets.